Hey guys, sorry I haven't been on for a while. Got, you know, school and stuff. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to create a new user into your database using the previous application I made for the login form um, project, I guess. Okay, let's just load this. See, this is pretty much what we had last time. This isn't the security password one, this is the unsecure one. So, we're going to start eventually. Now, what you're going to get familiar with is something called Add New and Update. This is the update method, basically. You use the same method to, say, um, change your settings in your account if you are creating a big program like that all you have to do is you search by the user and then you just change the fields that they want to change and then update easy peasy okay so let's add a new button call it whatever you really want you know me I'm gonna call it new user and command um, command create new eventually I'll get to it um, here we go so we're gonna create a new private sub easy stuff come on figured out over my break that you don't need to do public function for your login form you can do a private function in fact it's probably better if you do a private function because public will be global so same as before dim your or define rather your variables as your adobe connection and record set then open them as before exact same way as before no difference the only difference is the following code not this but the stuff after we open it, which I'll get to eventually. May as well explain add new and update now. So basically what add new does is it moves to the basically just before the sentinel value in your database in this instance so it'll move just before the sentinel value but after your last record and it'll create a new record there okay so if you have an ordered database it'll create it in your next section if you like so your automatic id will be stay as follow that stay following one two three four five six etc now what we use update for is once we've written to the fields we need to actually tell the database to save it if you like so update is keeping that information permanent if we didn't then you, you're most likely to lose your information came upon a bit of genius here where I could have just copy pasted my above code sarcasm by the way okay so after I paste this bit of code and change that name there you go we're going to start with our actual writing code. Okay, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to do new user dot add new. Okay, this is add new thing. I explained it before. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do new user dot fields and then our first our username field. And remember last time when we were reading from a database we did dot value dot to string. When we write to a database we just do dot value, no dot to string. Okay, so here we go. Now let's just copy paste that. Change this to password because we're doing pretty much the same thing for password. 
and pass. Okay. So now, last but not least, we need to go new user dot update to save our information to our database. Otherwise, it's just information that's hanging there, basically. So, yeah, now it all works. Don't forget to close your database. I've for forgotten this instance, but I fix it up later. Now we're gonna call that private sub and do a huge message box. Feel free to skip through the message box, not important. Basically, I use message boxes just to tell me that my program is actually doing what it's supposed to, I guess, or en entering what it's supposed to. It's the easiest way to tell instead of constantly using breakpoints, etc. Alright, so we can run it now. I haven't closed my databases, but it doesn't screw up your program. But best practice is to close your database or your connections rather. So once I get to it, fix up the formatting of my code. Okay, should work. Come on, press the play button. Okay, here we go. Alright, so cheese just for the sake of it and typical password. Now we're going to create new. Voila, it created it. Yay, and now we can lo log in with that. Yay, logged in. Yep, there's everything basically. Okie dokie. All working and stuff. Remember this is just for like user details you can do it for so much more than just user login and user account creation. There's more stuff to it than just that. There you go, close my connections. All done. Thanks for watching.